but <laughs> right morning folks welcome along to the vlog yeah I'm abandoning you Reg they're showing everybody his belly I'm gonna abandon Reggie and we're gonna go into work today do some work on the beer garden show you the progress that we've made and then oh buddy uh, hopefully we'll get some steel and uh, get a little bit of an insight as to how far we're getting with the can filler but this isn't a can filler episode we'll save them for a proper series today it's just a bit of a vlog let's go to work come on then pal come on then reg oh buddy we've certainly got quite the equipment today salad sandwich uh, camera bag and if we look in the back excuse the mess but we've got toolbox bucket of pneumatic and electrical components compressor some mojong gas fittings down there and the gas rams and solenoids let's get into work and uh, well we'll not be getting to this today but we're certainly going to finish the groundwork in the beer garden See, chaps, we couldn't get an exact match for the slabs for this raised area, but I think we'll get away with it because we are going to, at the end of the day, put a bench over the top. And we've got pretty much all of it done, retaining walls in. We've just got this little bit of extra paving to lay down here. And once that's complete, we just need to pop the coping stones on top of the wall to retain the flower beds and we can pretty much put everything back with also we've also got all the cuts to do down that edge as well which will be a bit of a pain in the arse So some of the steels arrived. I've got a printout here of the, uh, you know, the can filler, and a very peculiar thing has happened. I don't know what's caused it, but if I just grab the invoice here, for those of you who are interested in what we paid for this steel, three three six. But I did order some spare lengths, extra long, six meters. So we've got a bit of stock. But yeah, I uh, copied from the cut list on SketchUp. I've got these sizes here, look, 1620. And I pasted them in here, 1670. Everything came out 50 mil bigger than what it said on here. I've no idea how that's happened at all. All of them are equally 50 mil bigger, every single size. So it looks like we're going to be making the can filler 50 millimetres bigger in all dimensions. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm not going to go ahead and cut all these parts again. They were all cut by the metal store, of course. But uh, I suppose we're just going to end up with a bigger piece of kit than anticipated. Not really an issue. It should still work, but uh, just one of those things. Anyway, I meant to do a little bit more on the vlog today and I apologise because I obviously haven't, uh, but we got carried away. The time now is, let just make it out on there, uh, five to six, so it's time for home already, folks. We're just washing the mixer out. I'll take you through here. 
and uh, show you what we've achieved today, which is quite a lot. So we've got a bit of this coping fitted. Need to make a few cuts here. A bit more there. And we got that done. Do you reckon to that then folks? I think it looks bloody brilliant. So that's the closest match we could get to these, which isn't a match at all. But I think once it's weathered, nobody will notice too much. We've had Froggy down with us as well, and JB. And uh, we've excavated the wobbly slabs, which were these ones here. And uh, I think they were looking for diamonds or something, because they've gone really deep. And uh, it's that deep, in fact, we don't have enough sand to compensate for it. So we're going to have to find either some sand on the open market, or we're going to have to come up with a new tack tomorrow, how we're going to repair this. So, if I jump up onto the deck, we can show you that we've got the slope around this side. It's not too bad a slope. It's a little bit steep really, but uh, I think people will survive. Uh, we've got the slope going down into the uh, pub. That used to be a couple of steps there, terribly made. And then over here, we've started to clean the slabs and they've come up really nice actually. Indian stone, oranges, reds, blues, greens. Really quite nice. And then we've done a bit more of the coping over here as well. And uh, yeah, still got these to do though, haven't we? So that's, that's how far we've got folks. All in all, it's been a really productive day. When that steel arrived, I really wanted to start playing around with the can filler, but you know what? I don't think it's a good idea until we've put this job to bed. Otherwise, we may get completely distracted. Well, this was a little bit of a difficult um, install, actually. We had to lower this drain and uh, try and cut into it. That's the best we could do. It originally wasn't set level, so we've had to cut on a funny angle and it wasn't really excellent, but it's done now and I think once we've kind of pointed up around that, it should be good enough and uh, good enough is good enough for us. So yeah, there we go. So it's just down to me to uh, put the jet wash away and the cement mixer and lock up the pub and the unit and yeah go home. I'll just give you a little glance around the brewery as it stands here idle at the moment. Really I'm looking forward to getting some beer made. I uh, don't know if I've shouted out uh, to Martin Bailey for sending some beers. This is the one that I've saved for Spider, by the way. Just in case you thought I'd drank it. I've saved him it. Anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap up. You know what to do. Hit the like button. We're going to start the can filler soon, so you won't want to miss that. I suggest you subscribe for it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, my back's killing me. <laughs>